Oh no. Did you leave the lid off? What did you do? Brucers. Hey guys, welcome back to KNS Get Out. We got a fun one today. We're we're pretty chock full of stuff for this one. Yeah. Today, I got my lab results back, and so later we're gonna share that with you. Go over some details, we'll get into it. But first, Shannon and I are gonna do something that for the first time in the entire 10 years we've been married, we've never done. Okay, so the thing we haven't done in 10 years for our anniversaries or our birthdays is a surprise gift exchange. And that, that goes for Valentine's Day, Christmas, Christmas like everything. We don't buy gifts for one another nope. because we spend all our time together. Well, not only that, but we've always been in a situation before where if we wanted something, we just bought it because we could. Yeah. Now that situation has kind of changed. <laughs> yeah. Whether together or separate or what, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The mower was an anniversary gift last year. But guys, you could imagine that's a big purchase. We don't make purchases like that uh, solo. No. So, you know, that was a deal that we worked out. It's just Shannon got to claim it as her gift to me for some reason, which still isn't really fair, but that's okay. But my I still haven't ridden it, so it's definitely not mine. <laughs> yeah, but look what it does for your <laughs> land. And I'm so happy for it. Me too. You can mow anytime <laughs> you want. Just don't look at the blades or the tarp that's wrapped around them. There is no tarp. Just kidding. So, Shannon and I did our best, and it's still, it's hard to surprise each other when you're together together. Well, 24-7, your yeah. business partners, your life partners, your best friends. And I don't know if you guys could imagine, but like, I don't have many thoughts that go through my head that don't make it out my mouth and therefore <laughs> in her ears. <laughs> so bless her heart. Uh, you know, good luck surprising me and good luck getting something that I don't know what it is. That's very true. And I'm not a very good gift giver, so I don't actually, I'm not good at like thinking ahead of things like, oh, that would be a good gift idea. Like I just... But I don't you, have those thought How processes. do you feel about this one? Is this garbage or am I going to be excited about it? I think you're going to be excited about this. I really do. Okay. I know you're going to be excited about mine. I know for a fact. All right. And if you're not, I don't know. <laughs> There's something wrong with it. So do you want to unwrap our gifts individually or at the same time? No, we can do them one at a time. Okay, then I'm going to give you mine first. Oh. Is that okay? Sure. Can't argue with her. Happy birthday anniversary. Thank you. Birthday anniversary day. Oh no. I can't leave that there. <laughs> Can I just pull it all out? Yeah. It's a Ferrari. Well, how many gifts did you get? We had a we had a semi spending limit. The gnats are gonna form in my face. Yeah. And uh, I still somehow, I went over it with one gift. She apparently I had to came get two gifts to, to get to that with level. With a couple gifts. Okay. What is this? Guess you're going to have to open it and find out. Oh, okay. Should I start with this one? I don't care. You just open whatever you want to open. I feel like it, this is going to be like a scheduling or an organizational or a cleaning or a calendar type something. Something I'm not very good at doing. I mean, you probably are going to have to do something extra with those. Gift somebody something that requires they do work to make the gift worthy. That's how you do it. I think you'll find it worth it. Okay. All right. Mama wants to help. Um, you, you're, dripping, you're dripping the water you just drank down in my gift. She says, you're welcome. All right. All right. What are we? What, what's? Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's a GMW, a Gun Magnet World. Helping gun owners, she said, All right. <laughs> so what she's not telling you is, uh, a few weeks back, I might have had myself one of those dreams. You know those dreams where your entire family, animals, like whole family for some reason is in one area, and you for some reason are the only one seeing that the bad guys are coming, and then you go and grab your freedom sticks and they all want to malfunction or, you know, it takes 74 pew pews for it to be effective. I had one of those and it went on and on. I woke up in the worst mood and I got all of my freedom sticks out. I cleaned them up. I lubed them up. I said, babe, I gotta, we gotta, <laughs> I'm going to put these in very strategic places so that I can always reach one because this is not good. And it took me a couple days to get over it. So these, I assume, are, I've seen these on Instagram and places. 
So, so they're that, magnets so that you can put your freedom sticks in various places and always have quick access to them. So when I wake up with a bad dream, I can look over and know like, ah, oh, there they are. There I'm they safe. are. We're it's safe. okay. She's safe. He's safe. They're safe. Animal's safe. Everybody's good. Thanks, babe. I love that. You're welcome, that. but keep going because there's more. I did have a little bit of help from your brother with these as far as which ones to get. So I need a little help from you getting them put away. <laughs> Do I have to open the other brown box or is that the same? This this brown box is the same as the one that you already But this opened. is different. I don't remember. I don't know how they're A lot packaged. of thought went into this gift, I didn't know it? how they're packaged. I don't know. I don't really know what I got you. Hey, I'll I be told realized. you it was not a good gift giver. All right. Well, you know. I guess I didn't know that until now. These magnets are really strong. We've never done this before. <laughs> it's the same stuff. Okay. Okay, so I'll open all of these later, but you can put these in a bunch of different places. Okay, well, Nala dripped her uh, drool on this one. She said that helps. Oh, okay. Thanks, baby girl. It's it's a little hot out today, so she's already over by the camper door she's waiting to go back in. She's ready to go back in. inside. That's our princess. Okay, so the all big right. one, the, the magazine section slides over that so that it holds them. Oh yeah. So this one says AR-15. Wink wink. I do have uh, larger boom sticks that require different mounting brackets. So does this is can I put this one like right over the window right next to the bed? It just means I got to screw into the side of the RV. You just got to find a way to screw it in. I'm going to find this this is that this is awesome. I'm excited about this. Good job, babe. Good thinking. Thank you. You're reading my dreams or my nightmares. I don't know. I've wanted this for a long time regardless. I was going to say. But the dream sped it up a You were bit. literally walking through the camper the other day holding one up on the wall. And I was like, okay, I know what I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this dream stuck with me for a while. I can still vividly remember it. And I'm omitting a lot of details. You're welcome. Very good, babe. Very good. All right. One more, right? One more. One more. Okay. Do you have any guesses? I do. You want me to say it? Yeah, I want you to guess. But then don't look at me because my face will give it away. Well, the brand is on the bag. Yeah. Okay. I know there's only two things from them that I want. I'm wearing one of them, and I don't know that she would have ordered more of these shorts. <laughs> but the only other thing I need from them that I don't have that I've wanted. You want me to say it? I can see you out of the corner of my eye. You don't no, don't it. say it then because my face will give it away. I bet you it's a rain jacket. Storm defender, rain defender. One of those two. Just a guess. <laughs> hey, if it is, I'm super happy. If it's not, then uh, I gotta eat crow because I guessed wrong. No, it's, sh is it shorts? Open it all the way. It's pants. Open it all the way. Open it. Oh, it's my lighter bibs that don't, that aren't. Oh, you got me good. You got me good. Good job. Ah. Every other week, Kyle says, I will have a pair of overalls one day. I will have a pair of overalls one day. One day, I'm going to wear overalls. Folks, I got me a pair of overalls. <laughs> Now, you know, we're on super high tick alert. This will be great for those projects where I do have to go get a little bit thicker in the woods and don't want to wear shorts and I just won't wear a shirt underneath them and I will get a hat. I'm going to look the part, man. This is great. Good thinking, babe. Thank you. You totally stole my thunder of shopping for my own overalls. Well, I'm sorry. It's okay. I actually Look at that. Did. It's got a hammer hanger. I and actually did research. There's like, my knife pocket. There's my Leatherman pocket. I looked at several different brands and everything. Oh, you did awesome. Man. I even read reviews. You I even. Mean, I read reviews. You even read my mind because I had forgotten about these since we were in short season. And now I'm a little bit glad it's not the rain jacket because we're not going to see rain for another eight months. I know. <laughs> <laughs> sort of kidding, but very serious. That's good. Good job. Okay? <clears throat> you did wonderfully. All right, so I bought you one gift. Okay. And it's smaller than everything you got me except for the little uh, magnets for the pistols. Okay. So there's, there's reason behind this. And this one's really hard for me to give to you. I don't like giving gifts that I want. This is going to be good and all it. There have been times wants. I've bought gifts for people and there were things that I wanted, Chad, sorry, Dad, sorry, Matt, sorry. And uh, they never ended up getting them. I bought them something different and I kept the thing I wanted. 
This one has Multiple been times. really Multiple hard, times. but because we knew we were going to have to postpone this and do this, I thought, okay, okay, I can't steal this one. I can't, I can't come up with something else. Uh, and this one actually benefits me a little bit. And long ways down the road, it benefits me a lot. Okay. And I also want you to know, in the 10 years that we've been together, I've never wrapped a gift or put anything in a bag. <laughs> I did this myself. I went and bought a pink bag, white tissue paper, You'll see how the wrapping job started, and then I saw Shannon's wrapping job, so I had to go get a bag, but the box inside was my original design. Thanks, honey. You're welcome, honey. You use duct tape? No, it's Gorilla Tape. It's better than duct tape. This is like the heavy-duty industrial shape. Ain't nothing getting in there, and hopefully it's not getting out either. Do you have a knife? Can I borrow your knife? I should have got you a freaking knife. If I had my own knife, I would use my own. I probably don't have a knife because I'm actually pretty dangerous with a knife. I'm a little scared to give her a knife. I'm scared to let her borrow my knife. And I always want it back. Good job. Hey, Thank thanks. You. Oh, I might, I might need it again. <laughs> you don't even know that brand, do you? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, looky here. Stop asking for my knives, lady. I'm excited yeah. about this. So this Ooh. isn't just a pocket knife, guys. I, you know how I am with my research and I know way too much about a lot of things that I should not know that don't help me in life. But if I go to buy a knife or if I go to buy a anything, I do stupid amounts of research and days and days and days of research. Yeah. And so for about five, maybe six years, I have carried this Spyderco Paramilitary 2. I know, you know what that is. And if you don't, well, that's what it is. And it is a that's CPM. That's one of my favorite knives you have, though. S30V steel. It holds a sharp edge. It gets super sharp. It's nice and thin. Man, this is a great knife. But it's not cheap, like a couple hundred dollars. And that's why I invested in it and now look, it's lasted me this long. And uh, I've got it all broken and lubed up and I've cleaned it and changed some screws in it and stuff so that mine just, you know, flips open, falls, closed, whatever. This one needs a little breaking in. But here's the thing, because I bought mine five-ish years ago, of course the blade steels have changed. The blade steel on this one is better than mine. She'll never sharpen it, I'll be the one to sharpen it. She will dull it because she'll be cutting things like cardboard and. You know. That's what a knife is for. That's what city people use knives for. That's all I ever used a knife for until I came out here. I've cut down a tree with my knife now. Hey, you never know what I might cut down with it out here. So, let me see it. Am I going to get it back? <laughs> May I borrow your knife, please? <laughs> <sighs> let me check it out. Oh, man, that fresh G10. Did I buy this for you or did I buy this for me? I hope it's for me. Dang. In fact, when that's I bought nice. mine, I couldn't get it in black on black, and that's really what I wanted. Instead, I got this digital digi camo, which is fine. I could buy other scales for it or whatever, but it cuts the same, and it's the same material. So that is S45 VN. Mine's S30 VN. And that's just a glass compound in the metal makeup, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. Kyle really hates it when somebody else has a better version of what he has. No, 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 no. When you have a better version of something, I don't care about other people. It's just, yeah. Thanks, honey. You're welcome, baby. I got no. you this knife for your birthday's <laughs> anniversary. Look, babe, it's got patina on it. I'll be back for you. If she's not carrying you, gonna steal my you're knife. going in my pocket. If I see this thing on the counter, you're going in the other pocket with this one, and we're going to have two. Okay? I'll be back. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. All right. I'm very excited. Well, you did great, babe. I, I got overalls. I got magnets to put up on my uh, my safety protocol stuff. Pew, 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 pew. And now you can stop asking for my knife. Now, here's the thing, babe. This is I with, better not ever ask for a knife This is with love. <laughs> but you ask me for a knife again because I always have my knife or my Leatherman, which has a knife, or I have my knife and my Leatherman. And it's the two, I have tons of different knives and cheapos and everything, but I've got my suite set up with the investments that I made years ago and those tools are always with me. 
So if you ask for a knife, I will run straight back to this camper. I will get your knife. I'll put it in my pocket. I'll let you borrow it. And then you got to give it back to me. <laughs> that's, that's the deal, okay? So if I need to be your knife carrier, then we're going to call that my knife and I'll buy you something different. No, I, I'll try to get better at carrying it. No, you will get better at carrying it. Please. I'll get better at carrying it. Besides that, it's another method of protection if I'm not with you or not around you. I mean, I kill, you know what I do with this too? You saw me in the last video, you saw me kill ticks. Oh, that's true. You did. And I slice and dice them if I'm somewhere where I can set them down and cut them up. Otherwise, I just pop their heads. Okay, well, maybe I can use this to kill ticks instead no. of just throwing them She's away. She's going to use this brand new knife with S45VN steel to kill ticks. Whose idea was that? Oh, that's a it was good a great idea. idea. Do it. Do it's it. Man, very sweet of happy you. birthday anniversary. Thank you. Happy birthday anniversary to you. Thank you very much. I'm very excited. Me and too. I'll try on those overalls for you later. I hope they fit. Okay, well, let's go get some critters fed because I hear little spruce down there crying. Crying. You have to bring your knife because I think I do have a new package of feed down there and I know how bad you are at opening them with a little rope, so. I, they're impossible to open with those ropes. That's why you got that. Okay. If the ropes are a problem, you just slice it open. Sometimes it feels better anyway. Well, plus I have to use my new knife. Yes. As soon as we're done with them, guys, I'm going to give you a quick update on the lab results that we got back. <laughs> Man, this is like, this is cool. I can, I can hop around. Pants ain't coming down. I Are get, you so happy? Oh, yeah, man. I saw an old farmer up at the gas station today. He had on suspenders, you know, with his jean shorts. Oh, that's like, awesome. That's owning it, and I cannot wait for the day that I can do that. But that will come next. <laughs> First, overalls. And then maybe someday, get myself a cowboy hat like Chad. They look good. I like them. Thanks. Good work. I'm ready to take care of animals. What about you? Hi. Hi, everybody. He saying, listen, he's saying mom. 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 Hi, Hi little Spurcers. buddy. Hi, Mario. Hey, when's your big boy voice going to come in? Huh? Mm -hmm. When does that big boy voice come in? How is everybody? Did, Did you, you give bring your Snoopy, Snoopy a bath? Hi, Bubba. He says, no, he's a magic Snoopy like me. I'm dirty one day, and I'm clean the next. And you don't ask questions why or how. <laughs> but ha has you seen my Snoopy? Has you, has you seen my Snoopy, Mom? Yes. Man, I feel indestructible in these overalls. Like, he's even sniffing them. I'm just like, yeah, sniff away, buddy. Get him dirty. <laughs> look, look at this. Look at this. He got dog paws on me. We can hug. He's like, let's we break him in. Yeah, we got to break him in, don't we, buddy? Oh, my goodness, my big boy. Spruce that does habit. a little dance when he's eating. Waggy, waggy, yeah. waggy. I know it. Good boy. So we haven't done an evening feeding with you guys in a while. We, we've always done the morning feedings. But if you look, this is what the majestic blue, this, this is what her evenings look like. She's, she's got this He's apathetic, like, just, yeah, everybody's going to be riled up and I don't care. Mama's pretty chill. She's just got her leg laying off the side. Yeah, there's no telling how many times her and Herc have talked today and she's just done with them. She's like, I'm just going to stay up here until there's food in my bowl. <laughs> Come on, big guy. You know what to do. She's gonna bring it to you, good boy. You're okay, she's gonna bring it to you, I promise. All right, he went in, he's ready. I pointed, he came on in, I was able to lock him in. Perfect. Good job, Mario. Yours is coming, yours is coming. Mama's tough. Oh, yeah. She don't mess around. She pushes Luigi out of there. Look, Blue does not have to stand that way, but she still chooses to. You guys are ridiculous. Hey, can I borrow a knife? What for? Doesn't matter. I never asked you what for. Can I borrow a knife? You're right. But I'll give you the same preface you give me. Make sure you give it back. This is only a test. <laughs> I just want to make sure you had it on you, because I got the overalls on, man. I got it. Our new feeding situation where we lock Mr. Mario, that's Mr. Mario, in his own pen is working wonders. 
as is having spruce out here. Yes, we gave him a, a bottle, but it's a partial bottle and we're just making sure we're giving him those supplements he needs while he's growing. But then he still goes ahead and grazes and eats some regular feed. And that's part of that weaning process, getting him to where he's not reliant on the bottle or us and he can be in the same schedule with these guys. Yep. And these three right here, you know, they may push each other out of the feeders a little bit here and there, but ain't nothing compared to like when Mario's a part of the party. Oh no, it's so much smoother and calmer. And he's, you know, when he's finished eating, he's even being a little calmer, just kind of waiting. He knows, yeah. he knows exactly what we're doing. And by the time we let him out, he can go check out their food bowls. If they left something, he has it, it's his and they don't care. But this gives them the opportunity to get all the food they need and him to get Are you all the done? food he needs. What you think, brother? What you think, big guy? Are you all done? Yeah. I sure. mean, it only took a couple days and he was willing to go into the pen on his own. He does go in on his own, yeah. In fact, most of the other goats have now figured out, don't follow him. Just let Mario go in there, yeah. they lock him in there, and then we get ours out here, and it's working out really, really well. What are you doing there, Blue? <laughs> You think she's just telling us, like, hey, don't forget to give us more hay before you go up? <laughs> Maybe. We oh, my gosh. We'll get you more hay, girl. You're good. Yeah, as you guys all know, we creep on our animals all night long. All the time. It's not a surprise. Nah, we're weird. So the other night I was looking around, trying to find everybody, and Herc was right over here, down here in the corner of the shelter, and I could see two little hind legs just kicking, kicking nonstop, and I was like, oh, he's dreaming, that's adorable. I recorded it, the next day I showed the video to Kyle, and he goes, what else do you see in that video? I was like, what are you talking about? He goes, how many goats are in the frame? Lo and behold, <laughs> I didn't even see it. She didn't see it. it I was, did not see it until he it was It was in out. black and white mode, because it was at night. Yeah, it was night vision. Mr. Spruce. Oh my gosh. He was laying down here in the bottom of the hay feeder. Sleeping. Sleeping. Blue was up here. The others were all in their spots. Are you kidding me? Who yeah. doesn't want a straw bed to sleep in at night? Especially next to my big brother, Hercules, who I have to watch out for because I'm way bigger than him and I keep him safe, you know. Yeah, I appreciate you having Herc's back while yeah, he's sleeping. Yeah, yeah, I got his back. Little weak sauce dog. Oh my gosh. Well, he ain't no guard goat. Well. I guard goat. That's true, you're a guard I goat. I guard goat. Goat dog. Where okay. are you going? I'm gonna go graze. See you later. Call me if you need me. He just makes up his own little rules. Okay, uh, I just moved this. There's a hundred percent something under it. What? I don't know what it is, if it's a mammal, if it's a snake. It was right there. Hurt, get ready, brother. It's a mouse. Where is it? Inside? He's right here. Dude, you had better get to moving. He's, he just went on the other side. Do you see him? I, he, I saw him come out, but... Dude, are you letting a mouse live with you? What is the deal? Those little things are everywhere. Oh, yeah. At least it wasn't a rat. As far as you know. No, I saw it. It was definitely a Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, he looked like Jerry. <laughs> it was a little mouth. Oh, no. Did you leave the lid off? Yeah, this was bad. Did he dump the whole carton? Yeah. What did you do? Sprucers. Really? Really, dude? That's my fault. I should have put the lid on it. I haven't thought about it. I just, my fault. Hey man. Well, this was a fresh bag of feed. Spruce. He's like, what? Mama's learning lessons the hard way, isn't she? Don't I always? You cannot leave the lids off these things. <laughs> Spruce says, sure you can. Mom, I felt like you left it off so I could come over here and, 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 and knock it over so I could eat some. Was that not the plan? No. But really. Get out of there. But really. Get out of there. But Mom, look how cute I am. I know, but so, so, look at this belly. Yeah, perfect, right? Gotta keep feeding it. Goodness, what are we gonna do with all this? 
sprucers, buddy. Don't eat it out of the pail. What did you do, Goof? Silly. Goof? Nothing. I made it way easier to get to it. <laughs> oh, we, we were going to give it to you. Yeah, but I wanted it on my own time. You just didn't want to wait, did no, you? No, I'm smart, Mom. I'm smart, and I know how to eat. Oh, this is great. How much did you eat? All of it. All Good job. It. I tried to eat more, Mom, but you kept picking it up, and then my dad picked me up, and I'm like, what the heck? I was busy. Uh-oh. I want Careful. out. He wants out because he sees food on the floor. Oh, I know. Come on, Bruce Jr. <laughs> Oh my. Yeah. Oh, I heard that. I heard it. I heard it. He says, I'm digesting. Oh, I, I don't know. It's really hard to turn this down, apparently. You see his face? That's like his, that's his flirt face. How could you turn that down? Look how handsome he is. <laughs> You're, <laughs> You're making so it weird. <laughs> me or him? Mario. It's you. It wasn't me, brother. Get away from me. Go flirt with mama. Go on. Blue wants some attention from you. Hi, Blue. Hi. Oh, hey, you know what? Mama's over here nibbling on my uh, overalls, and she said, I want some attention. The girls are craving some attention. Yeah. But all he's wanting is to be able to do his little walk up and touch and check. Say, hey, you my goat, you safe, you good? Yeah. I wanna sniff you. It's happening right now. And he's not being mean to her. He's not putting his mouth on her. It's just a respect thing. And I think she's just not used to having a guard dog. You know? Yeah. I don't think she ever had to deal with this, so she doesn't feel like she has to give him that respect but he doesn't know any different. He demands it. Be nice, Bubba. All right, all the animals are fed and taken care of. Let's go up and finish out with our conversation. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet, but you know how I am. When the last video came out and we shared with you guys that, you know, we had been dealing with that issue from the tick bite, potentially a food allergy and all of that. I didn't mention to you guys because I, I hadn't talked to him yet, but if you remember, JR and Bobby that came and helped with the roof, awesome, awesome people. JR has the Lone Star Tick Disease allergy, which is alpha-gal. It's the food allergy, the red meat allergy from a tick bite. And the poor guy has been dealing with it for well over seven years and Based on that timeline, it sounds like he was diagnosed in about 2016. Um, and these facts, JR, I'm sorry if I mess it up, but long story short, it took them so long to diagnose what was wrong with him uh, that he actually had some, some long-term damage done internally that he can't recover from. And I know, I, I don't, he doesn't know, or we don't know the exact timeline, but I know it was well over a year that the poor guy was dealing with the side effects and things I was dealing with and they eventually became much more extreme than just fevers and acute headaches. And so, man, he, he shared all that with us and it was a big part. That was before I thought I had it. It was just in conversation, he shared that with us. And that was a big part of why I knew when this started happening, to put this high on the list of things to pay attention to. So anyway, he and Bobby were watching our last video. They got to the part where we were sharing with you guys, you know, what we were going through and they had to stop the video and he called me and we had a great conversation and i just I, I love those folks you guys are awesome so we had such a long conversation and he is so excited that we at least knew to turn to this quickly and see if this is what it was because if it if it is and you keep eating red meat you keep doing things you shouldn't uh, it can damage your body worse and worse so another pain point doctors not going to go into the it has nothing to do with our specific doctor but when i call and i say hey i'm having two to three terrible fevers a day and i'm dealing with this day after day after day i got blood work coming let's let's add the tick panel to it you know guys that's that's life altering like our last video title and and it has been and of course the last today's day three that i've not had a fever and we've been solidly sticking to the diet with no red meat, no dairy, and we're not flirting with it because ugh, I can't afford it. So far, so good. 
So I called the doctor's office today. I have an app because of my cousin's wife, who's awesome and in the medical industry, or she used to be. Uh, she said, hey, you can get the app and it will tell you if lab results come in. Well, they still hadn't come in, but she told me, she said, hey, go ahead and call the doctor. Call the doctor. She pulls me up. Sure enough, lab results are in. She's not going to tell it to me. And I said, well, you know, do you mind if I swing by and get a copy of those? She goes, well, I need to get them in front of the doctor. She didn't want to give me the lab results. And I get that because a lot of folks, you get your lab results, you read them yourselves, you're way out of line, you're way wrong, and then you call freaking out thinking you're dying. However, you know me, did all my Googling, I knew exactly what to look for. So when I got off the phone with her, because she had signed into the system, then on my app, it actually gave me the lab results. And they don't know that. The doctor's office doesn't know that. So the way I left it with her was she was going to put them in front of the doctor. They were going to look at them. That was earlier today. That was before noon. And here we are now. It's 630 at night. And I said, so you just want me to wait for your phone call and I can't come get a copy of the lab? She goes, yeah, we'll give you a call. No phone call. So, you know, I'm not trying to badmouth them or bash them or whatever, but it, this is a big deal. I mean, this is every time I get hungry, <laughs> we got to figure something out, you know? So very frustrated about that, but here is the gist. All of my lab results, cholesterol, all the things I don't know because I don't go to doctors and I'm not used to that or whatever, all of that stuff, flying colors, past it, doing great, everything's in the green. All of my white blood cell numbers, way down. And those are what fight infection in your body. And so basically, at the time that I took the blood test, which was three days into us dealing with the fevers and whatnot, um, I had just come off a of fever that day, and so all my white blood cells were doing their work, and they, you know, were expended, and so it, it looks like it's just it's just a red light district right there in all the white blood cell stuff. The uh, alpha gal, I don't know what it is, protein enzyme antibi antibodies something. Uh, you need to be at two percent or less. In fact, on this lab result, it was saying the range was 0.1 or one percent or less. I am at a 1.75. That's way, way over what is alpha-gal red meat food allergy. So yeah, self-diagnosis, no, I did not immediately call the doctor and say, hey, I saw it and I'm telling you, you know, I, I'm gonna be patient and wait on them, but I'm so thankful and we are so blessed and fortunate that the community like you all and JR and we know other people that are fighting this, had it not been for you guys and the community of people that deal with this type of thing, I would have had no idea to turn to a tick-borne disease or allergy. And thankfully, I did. I've not had a drop of red meat since all this began, which is, you know, a challenge in and of itself, but it's fine. We're gonna deal with it, you know, and so much feedback from you guys in that last video, and I know it could be worse. You know, I could have a lot of other things going on or, you know, it could be an indefinite thing. But because we found it early, again, undiagnosed by the doctor. I don't have an official diagnosis. This is uh, Dr. Kyle <laughs> telling you his analysis based on reading his own lab results. And sure enough, the values are very indicative that that's exactly what this is. And we're just going to have to change our diet lifestyle. And that's fine. So all that being said, we still will have a call from the doctor, another visit with him. I'm curious what his take on it is. If there's anything, you know, he's learned more than what I'm capable of learning on the internet or talking to folks who, who deal with it. And so we'll let you know, you know, if there's, if there's new tricks and things, then I want to share that with you because I'm telling you right now, if you live in an area or you frequently deal with tick bites, I, I feel like this information is not out there enough. We're not warning people enough of tick bites. I knew tick bites were a major problem and to avoid them at all costs and Shannon as well. And we do the same for our animals. It's just, this is the lifestyle. This is country life. And we pick ticks off ourselves today. So now the key for treatment of this is to keep everything out of your diet that causes any reactions and try not to get bit by a tick. I mean, with everything in you, try not to get bit by ticks. So that's why we're growing these birds and that's why I've got some wonder side on the way and we're just gonna do as much as we can and be conscientious and, and check each other. So if you guys live in an area where you deal with ticks, you get tick bites a lot, keep it in the backs of your mind the next time you get sick if it's feverish, if it's some kind of rash, if it's a very, very just 
overbearing, knock you down, you're ill, and then you come out of it, start paying attention to when it's happening. And go read up on alpha-gal red meat food allergy from, from ticks, and you'll know what I'm talking about. And from what I'm hearing from JR, like he and Bobby were just so, so thankful and grateful that we knew to think of this quickly so that I didn't keep eating cheeseburgers and steaks and hurting myself for potential long-term problems. Now we just pray that, you know, the, the average, I guess, is about one to three years to get over this. And I've also got to figure out, you know, in the dairy world, like what things can I eat? And that just means I have to try them and then endure whatever comes of it if it's something I shouldn't eat. So it's, it's bad news, guys, but in the grand scheme of things, I've not had fevers for three days. I have an amazing, amazing family of, of you guys and, and JR and Bobby and others who are going through this that have sent us a lot of information. Thank you. Thank you so much. It literally has helped me deal with this and get by. And once I have an official doctor diagnosis who says, yeah, you read the chart right, um, I'll let you know. But it's 99.8% certain that that's exactly what it is. And Shannon and I are just going to change our diet and keep moving forward. Yep. Guys, remember, live life one day at a time. Enjoy everything. Don't take anything for granted and be wise. Use your head. If you need to stop and assess your health, assess things. I'm talking to myself here. I'll be real honest. Shannon's <laughs> smiling behind the camera. She's like, who's he talking to? He, he's he's got to be talking to himself. Stop. Stop. Take a break. Take care of your health. Make sure you can keep going. And tomorrow will be tomorrow if, if you're blessed with that. And, and keep moving forward. So thank you guys so much for your prayers. I appreciate it. Uh, this is the best case scenario for having this allergy as far as, you know, addressing it now and getting over it as quickly as possible. So we're going to go through this together. It's going to be a part of our journey and love and appreciate you guys for helping with this. I mentioned this. I, I was just, I was feeling, even though it's Shannon and I, I was feeling alone. You feel very isolated. It's like nobody else is going through this. It's not true. You guys are here with us, whether you're going through it personally or you're going through it with us. And I cannot tell you truly how much we appreciate it and and how meaningful it is for motivation and drive yep. so thank you so much we're going to keep going guys we're going to do this all one day at a time we're going to deal with the hand that we're dealt and we're going to pray about it and we're going to trust in the one and only that we know can help us with it thanks for your praise and support and as always guys we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.